Hi guys, it's Shane, and I'm here to review Grave Defense HD. It is by Art of Bites and Bulky Picks. It's a post-apocalyptic zombie game where you create defenses so that the zombies don't get from point A to point B. They use military ranking to show which level you're at, and they use different um, defenses such as the new ones that I've just gotten into are mines. Um, you start off with miniguns and the Vulcans, which is sort of like a minigun but not as fast but more powerful. There's also the flamethrowers, cryo cannons freezers and tesla coils which are really good to put together because with the tesla coil and a freezer the freezer slows down the zombies and the tesla coil sends out this electricity to slowly kill them and it's not just like it shoots one zombie at a time it like gets all of them within the vicinity it's it, it, and then the more you upgrade them the more powerful they are which is awesome there's uh ground zombies there's phantoms there's dragon looking things there's panther looking things which is really odd there's scorpion looking thingies and um it's just actually a lot of fun i've been playing it it's a game that i've actually lost sleep over because it's it's a lot of fun it's when i got really competitive so when I come across a game and it's like I can't win the first level, like if I can't get past it, I'm going to keep on playing it until I do. And it seems to be that way for every single level for me. So we're gonna go into it. And, ooh, see, these are, these are the rankings. I started as a private, right now I'm a lieutenant. You can see your scores and your awards. Um, I have, I believe I have a few. Yeah, they're all random ones for me because I've been playing it so much. And that's my ranks again. If you need help, like how to play in the encyclopedia. Let's go into what I have so far. Uh, campaign. There is a gold and a bonus. The bonus campaign, I won casual one, but it's really difficult because it's two maps in one. So you have to co constantly scroll. You have to figure out like the best defense for it um, in order to destroy all the, mo the zombies because it's a horde, it's wave after wave of hordes and it's not like they're easy to beat, they're actually very difficult. So you have to figure out your own defense in order to get it and with each level you have to come up with a different defense because they don't just come from one entrance they come from multiple different entrances depending on the level so for example level one could be at the top but level 2 could be on the side, and then in the uh, the point B, like the case where the red flag is, that's uh, where point B is, There, um, that's the place you have to protect, that changes as well. So let's go into one of the campaigns, I'm in level 13 right now, but as of right now they have 21, and then with more updates, more levels. So we'll go into... Which one did I really like? We'll go into this this one because I, I actually like this one. So with this one, you see the red pattern and it shows where the zombies are going and you use money to put down your defenses. And as the, as the zombies die, you... Um, you get more money and you build up more defenses. So that's where I'm putting it. I'm gonna put another Tesla coil up here so you can see what it does. So that's what it does. As you can see, the their health is going down. And then with the freezer, it's slowing them down so that it gives us the Tesla coil enough ch um, of a chance to kill them. And then when they go around, nothing happens. But when they come back around, they're gonna get hit with the same thing again. It's just a strategy of mine. Um, I'll show you the ones with the guns. Hopefully this is one with the guns. See? The green, the green flag shows where they're uh, from. And then the red flag was over here and that's where they're gonna be at. So here is only the minigun and the cannon. The cannon is shit. Don't use it. I actually do not like it because it freezes. So... There's the earthworm thingy. Oh, I don't have any more money up now. You you get... One of the things that I actually don't like about this game is that 
um, you don't accumulate the money that you you made at the end of the last level so for example in one of the levels I actually accumulated a lot of money like um like a uh, hundred thousand and that's enough to build like all of my defenses for the next level but when you start a new level you start with the amount of money that that level starts with so it could be like two thousand and that two thousand is only enough for maybe two defenses depending on what you have so oh shoot so the little so gold things that has the money sign like this one you have to pick them up because they're not gonna show up up here they don't just you know when you kill a zombie you'll you'll get the money but when they drop something like health or, or more money you have to to touch it so you can pick it up and as you can see they're they're dying pretty well with the with the mini guns but they're the weaker zombies with stronger ones like the dracula that i showed you earlier you're gonna need the stronger ones like the flamethrower or uh or the um the cryo cannon because that one is for ground in the air certain shoot see he's difficult he's being difficult come on get it Oh, damn it. Come on, get it. Okay. But, yeah, with with um, certain weapons, they only work for ground or air um, enemies or both. So, that's something that, to really consider when you're divvying up how much money you get when you're creating your defenses. I spend a lot of time playing this game. So I'm gonna have to give it like, even though you're, uh, even though you don't um, carry over the money that you have from the previous level into the next level, it's more of a challenge for you to create your defenses. So I'm gonna have to just say it's a five out of five. I love this game. It's really good. Art of Bites and uh, Bulky Picks did a great job. You can play it on the iPad. You can play it on the iPhone. Um, I think, I think you can also play it on the Android. I am not sure, but probably, yeah. It's it's a great it's a great game, and there's actually a plot within it. If you if you read what um the commander says in the beginning, it's like its head it hits his head, and he's like his mouth moves, but you have to like scroll to see what he has to say, and um he explains to you like it explains little by little the plot, so it's not just a Oh, you, now you're in the beach and you have to do this to protect your your area and then, you know, you're... Are they done? Okay, where is I? Okay, so you don't have to go do the... To, um, there's an... Blah. There's an actual plot to Grave Defense HD where you have to just protect humanity but that uh with that being said it's it's more fun to just focus on um protecting your area i mean it's not just protecting your area you're you know there's a there's a plot in it like at this point no i'm not gonna tell you about the plot i would i would spoil it but there's there's some little twists there's some little turns and it's a lot of fun give it a shot it's called grave g-r-a-v-e Defense, the F E N S E H D. It's by Art of Bites and Bulky Picks. Give it a shot. Try it. I give it a four out of five. And that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.